already know music plays a very strong part in people's lives. Now that music have a strong influence to pretty much control people and to make people know how to feel, think, and now that how to react and and, and pretty much in it in, in this world, music play a, a very very strong part, especially in the black culture. Black people. We love music. We consume music. Not only that, but we create music. Music can also be a beautiful thing. You know, when you're making love, music comes on. When you're angry, you listen to music. When you're depressed, you listen to music. So that's why sometimes music can also be very, very dangerous. Now, this minister here, I'm going to call her minister because she is a minister, went viral because of simple fact she's saying certain music is pretty much polluting the black community, especially when it comes to certain artists like um, Beyonce and... Uh, um, um, Kelly and all these other artists now because they're seeing how it's really affecting women out here. But, however, it's not only affecting women, but it's also affecting men as well. So, music is a very, very big part in our community, and we consume music pretty much each and every day. And not only that, to the point that we're living like pretty much the music is saying. That was sometimes certain things I don't listen to, certain raps I don't listen to anymore because I see when I would listen to it, it would literally portray in my life when I would be like, oh, I'm going to F up the club. Literally, my mind think about going to F up the club. Some people say, not me, you have a weak mind. No, because you're consuming whatever you consume on a daily basis, that's what you become. That way you got to consume good things because then when you consume good things, you become good, good things. When you consume money, money thoughts, you start making money. That's how things work. That's how the mind works. If people can understand how the mind works, we could go pretty much farther in life. So, this minister here, which is a woman, this is a woman minister, pretty much saying that Beyonce music could also become devil music, if you get my drift. But at the end of the day, it's her opinion. She has the right to her own opinion. But however, this this clip, which I'm not going to play, I'm just going to play the audio, went viral because of some of the fact she missing the Queen Bee. And you know people are crazy about the Queen Bee. So let's take a look. Give me one second. I even, uh, I even. Who told us you got to be a witch to be black? You are not more black by engaging in witchcraft that is still propagating a white supremacist lie that black people in Africa didn't know Jesus. I am angry that the powers that be in social media and in culture and in music and in Beyonce's music and in Kalani's music and in whatever the other and in oh, like, I'm angry that they are really trying to convince us that all spiritualism is the same and we have digested this impurity and this we, we want so bad not to be legalistic that we actually become profane we want so bad to have all these freedoms that we are entertaining demons and you wonder why you are depressed and you wonder why you are anxious and you wonder why you have nightmares and you wonder why I don't know who But but remember I stated that in my opening monologue of the simple fact how music do play a big part in our lives and now that whatever you be consume you become. She does make a good point when it comes to uh, like certain people mood out here because it's the music you are you are really consuming. Why do you believe Jesus or not? Why do you a Christian or whatever religion you in? Whatever you listen to, you become. So if you eat like toxicity on a daily basis, you become toxic. You become drama because that's what you eat every day, and that's why with me, I try to pretty much stay away from drama. That's why you literally don't really see me do a lot of drama topics because the simple fact is I want to stay away from that because. If I could consume myself into that drama world, I become that. And that's why I become very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. And I hope people tend to understand that. Because people don't understand that that world is a serious world. Music is a serious world. It plays it plays a big part in our lives on a daily basis. When we go on, when we go when we go to the gym, they're playing music. When we're in the hospital, they're playing music. When we're in the elevator, they're playing music. So Music can control people's minds. But the way you overcome that mind is by freeing yourself by listening to something totally different outside of the, the spectrum. Now, what this minister is saying towards Beyonce, that's a her tired own opinion because you don't know Beyonce from a kind of pain. But she's just seeing that her, the type of music or probably her congregation, which is all women, are listening to. And they seeing how they pretty much developed that part. 
So you have to title to her own opinion. But at the end of the day, I just want to know you guys' opinion on the coming aspect of how this minister feel about Beyonce. And it seems like a lot of ministers have been pretty much attacking Beyonce a, a lot lately. A lot of ministers. And not only just women, but also men as well. It's like, they're attacking Beyonce and it's like, what's the reason for it? Beyonce is not messing with you. But I think at the end of the day, some of them just do it for views and clicks and also to get subscribership. And not only that, for people to visit their church. But I really don't know at the end of the day, like, why are you attacking this woman? Don't attack the woman, attack the music. Subscribe to Cal Culture Radio. Remember, the link is on top of the chat. Also, in my community time, and also in my bio. Remember, we go live each and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 o'clock Eastern Time. With my good man, Prince Hakeem, and my good man, New John Era. Hope to see you there. I'm over and out. Peace.